All right, now we're on to planet number two, going into Overlook. Still going to play Story Open Elite, so let's move on. But I just uh, unlocked a new thing here. It's for the Concussion Tower. Actually, I never had any unlock before. So, we're going to put it on. Because why not? Let's move on in and take a look at the map. So, yeah, so the tutorial missions, as we'll call them, are over. So, we finished the first planet. You know, I didn't play the prologue. Played one, two, and three. One and two were pretty easy. Three was just boring. So hopefully, hopefully number four is a little bit more inspired in terms of its map design, but you know, it's still early in the game. There's 20 missions and, and they want to give you a new tower each time. So let's have a look at this one and let's have a look. Okay, so we can definitely build some paths here the way that we want to. And let's have a look at what the options are. So boost gun, inferno, laser, cannon, Meteor Tower is the one that we picked up this time. So Meteor has a super long range. Let's just uh, imagine we build it right here. You can see that it covers most of the map. It shoots out a big giant fireball and has an area of effect, which is really, really fucking super sweet. So we, we want to make these guys, though, walk as long and as far as they possibly can. So they're going to come in through here. We can't build here. So I'm thinking about making them walk around out here, putting you know an area of effect right here, and then doing the same thing here. So we want an inferno here and an inferno here and then build the boosts to make that happen. Do we have the money for it? Well, let's find out. Let's build the two infernos. We gotta build these three boosts to send them around. I don't have to build boosts. I could build actual towers, but in order to make the path, I mean, I like to build the boosts right away. It costs me 300 resources to get these boost towers set, but I think it makes up for it in the end. So they're going to go around the outside until I get that last boost tower placed, which we now have. Okay, so now we want to get a gun tower down as fast as we can right here. And on the other one above, or I'm sorry, next to the other inferno tower. So we get a gun right there. And when we get to 100, we'll get a gun right here. So the early game, it's like Plants vs. Zombies and the other tower defense. The early game, when you have minimum resources, this is when it's all on the line. So we've got a couple of guns up. We've got a couple of guns up. Now the question is, do we want to, we want to make them come in here? I could put another Inferno Tower right here and give them three. I hate Inferno Towers, so I'm not going to lie to you. But, I mean, they're a necessary. So they're going to walk past this one. This one only has four tiles, or I'm sorry, five tiles of area of effect. Both of these have eight, so we're maximizing our tower damage by doing that. So we've got a couple of guns here, and I think we want some cannons. We're going to put cannons on the outside edge right here, and probably put a couple more guns on the inside. But, you know, the high damage from the cannons is obviously nice. So we got the AOE to burn up the little guys, the guns, the cannons, but... Uh, the question is, do I upgrade those guns before building new guns? I think that I may, but let's get a second cannon down. Yeah, then we'll upgrade these two guns, and then we'll build two new level 1 guns and upgrade those. Then we'll focus on upgrading a couple of infernos. Probably won't upgrade this one for a while. And then, then upgrade the cannons. We need to build a meteor tower, actually. We need to get that out of the way, because that's one of those things that you can forget to build. So I think right here, a meteor tower is going to cover most of that, but it's also going to get them on the way in. Yeah, we're going to build a meteor tower right here. The tower is built on top of a boost tower. Yes, I know. I don't have any way to make that go away. So we're still doing pretty good. Now I've got to upgrade these guns. Like, as soon as I get 200. What wave are we on? Four. Four just end or four just start? Four is about to start. And, nope, five is about to start. So let's upgrade this. Now these guys, I think they run really fast, but when they turn, they slow down. Yeah, they slow down in the turns which means that basically this whole path that they're walking through here is going to slow them down. So that's pretty good, but they are, the rhinos are really tough. So let's upgrade this one. Bad time to upgrade since, you know, I actually want to be dealing damage to these guys. But I think I can manage to kill them on the way out. Hopefully we can. Now it's time to build a couple of new gun towers. So we'll build this one first. Just in case. Now we've got that meteor tower. If they sneak out with high health, come on, meteor tower. Come on, get it. Get it. Didn't get it. He got out with the core, so. Gotta go back a notch. 
The rhinos are coming in. Then upgrade that gun. And then we gotta overcharge it. Unfortunately. And we shouldn't have upgraded this one. But that extra damage should mean that nobody gets out alive, so yeah, okay. And we got those resources. So I mean it's easy to just miss it by a hair, but we did there, we missed it by a hair. We're playing on elite. So I had to uh, had to overcharge there. We just picked up some resources though. So now we got this upgraded and overcharged, and we get to build some new guns. Now we've got to really upgrade these two Inferno Towers. That's going to cost 600 total, so let's speed up time and just get that done. There's 300 right there. And let's tick up to 300, and then we got to get those cannons upgraded. That's expensive. So we got some stealth aliens now. So what stealth aliens do, you cannot shoot them from long range. Meteor will never hit them. But there is an upgrade called Disruptor that you can put on these instead of Overcharge. You can upgrade Disruptor down here. And that will reveal Stealth Aliens. I'm not sure if we're going to need that this match. But I want to get these two cannons upgraded. So let's get that upgraded. And then I want to get this cannon upgraded. Then these guns. And then I want to get the level red on these two guns since they're so critical. And I also want to upgrade that meteor tower, but you know, resources are uh, resources are scarce. So I can upgrade the cannon, but he's currently engaged in some combat, so we're looking pretty good. Come on, meteor tower, do it. Are you gonna do it again to me, you motherfuckers? All right, so we're not gonna upgrade this cannon. We're gonna upgrade these two guns. Unfortunately. And then we're going to overcharge them since they don't have to go down into the well for that. There we go. There is an option to turn your meteor tower or some other towers into priority target strongest. That's one of the upgrades, is to make it always shoot the strongest target. And I've got that turned on. So if there's a weak guy out here, and a really strong guy down in here, it's not going to prioritize the weak guy. So that's one of the uh, that's one of the downsides of having that. So 400 resources right now. I mean, I would love to upgrade some shit, but actually, I'd probably upgrade this. That's 500, but it's well worth it. I don't want to turn off any of these major damage sources here. All right, so we're good. Now 690. I want to get this. I want to get this gun to. And this gun up to the red, like, immediately. I don't care if it dips down on the hole, the damage will be worth it. The red level overcharge guns are pretty sick. So yeah, we're getting them on the way in now, plus we've got the upgraded Meteor Tower. But, uh, you know, we're only halfway through. I want to get to 400, get this guy up to the yellow. And I think I'm going to overcharge the cannons. I'm not sure if I can afford to upgrade them to the red level right now. So let's just... Overcharge this one. Then we'll overcharge this one down here. Alright, now. Gotta get this thing upgraded. Because it's really not doing a whole lot right now. Alright, so we get this one at a higher level. Now it's time to work on these other two guns, I think. How far are they getting? Rank 13, there's, they're getting in there a little bit. We should get a batch of resources now, maybe? No, not yet. So we're over the 400 mark, but you know we're in combat. So the shields, they're getting in with their shields up. They're picking stuff up. Not too happy, but they're dying. Okay, let's upgrade this one. And we are very close. Let's upgrade that one. Okay, so these guys are up. Next step is, do we want to build any new towers? I think I think what I've got going on here is fine. Perhaps another another gun right here wouldn't be the worst thing though. A fully upgraded gun. I could also build a laser right here. Still doing pretty good. Fully upgraded gun. With overcharge. And like I said, I'm not I'm gonna turn these inferno towers up to the last level. I think I will build a laser though. 
Laser. Let's overcharge it. 400 to upgrade. Down it goes. Like the cannon tower, the laser is 800. It does shut off a little bit of line of sight for my cannon. It still starts hitting them here. I've got the meteor tower. Actually, the next thing I'm going to do is spend 1,000 to upgrade that fucking meteor tower because that thing's sick. I think we're good though. I didn't put any disruptors on anything because, you know, this is pretty much all short range. So the only thing that's going to happen if we turn on a disruptor is let the meteor tower hit some shit in here. I mean, we don't care about that. The meteor tower got to hit shit out here. So, anyways, fully upgraded. We only got two waves left. I think we're going to make it. Fast guys are coming in, but we've got a nice, nice setup going here now. And we'll just hang on to our resources since we don't need to spend them. And, you know, maybe that'll give us a score bonus. Um, do I, nah, I'm not going to upgrade now. Lasers and cannons and infernals will stay yellow. Guns are red, overcharged. Whoa, this looks like a hefty wave. Maybe I have to reevaluate what I just said there. <laughs> Let's find out if they get out or not. I might have to press... Nope, nope, they didn't get out. Okay, I was going to say I might have to press the bumper again and then restart that wave and spend some of that money. But no, we didn't have to. Got a strong, uh, strong setup there. All right, so we got a nice gold medal. It was only 80k. We picked up 100,000. I don't know why I said k first and then thousand after. Who knows? Maybe that's the old uh, English teacher mentality where you're not supposed to use the same thing twice. Not that I was an English teacher, but I heard it enough from them. All right, guys. Anyways, that's uh, that's level four overlook. Looking forward to playing level five, and we'll see you then.